Paged viewports give report designers a way to display a concise view of potentially complex workbooks with simple navigation for users. So in this example, focusing on web sales, the user can navigate between a ranking view by region, the trend over time, or a database view where they can drill up and into the detail as they need and scroll down to see additional rows. In the second example, by reseller sales, again, they can switch between column chart view, time series, and a data or grid based view, which they can drill into. Each paged viewport contains a collection of images and a collection of viewports, which are triggered by clicking the relevant image. The viewport is a display of another part of the workbook. So let's take a look at the design by entering design mode and then right clicking on the grid and selecting edit. So we can see the various different images, their positioning, and also what happens when we click each image, which viewport will be displayed. So let's go through the process of adding an additional view to this viewport. First, we must add a new icon or image. I can then size and position that wherever I choose. And then I can change the stock or default image to whatever I would like to show. Here I can simply choose the color I would like to use and the image type I'd like to search for, which in this case will be meeting. This will give us a list of potential matches. So let's pick this one. Again, size it and reposition it in the preview pane how I want to see it. And then I need to determine what should happen when the user clicks the image. In this case, I'd like to show a viewport. I could alternatively jump to another position in the workbook with link to, but in this case we'll just show the viewport. I could use an existing viewport or I can choose an Excel range. So in this case, let's just jump to one of the other sheets and we'll pick the range containing the Excel chart. I could also point to this chart directly, but we'll just use the range process in this case. So let's switch back out of design mode and take a look. Here's the new icon, I click that and it displays the chart. I can easily position the chart slightly lower so it doesn't intersect the title, but you can see just how easy it is to extend the paged viewport concept.